Hey skippers, long time no see. Starting with 50 million experience in runecrafting, oh boy, I wish I started doing runecrafting daily sooner, as summoning and fletching is going up pretty nicely. I basically have 120 some bang, I think. I should be fine with it. As for fletching, daily arc contracts and AFKing on Anachronia is perfect for it. So, having 54 million experience missing in rune crafting really hurts, as I will have to wait it out, as rune span is very slow to train. Anyways, I think I'm getting boring non-stop talking about those three skills and what I'm gonna do about it. Let's open some wildy sex, shall we? From wire ones, uh, nothing as usual. As from special ones, oh, another decimation bow? Huh. More and more chalice and dragon related things, boots and gloves and dragons itself. Anyways, decent opening. I don't think I will get another core soon. I steer insanely rare and my account is not lucky, that's for sure. So yeah, decent opening. And of course the part of the video you are waiting for. Small will the sex opening. One of the best activities in RuneScape. Eh, uh, what am I kidding, right? Let's continue with more awesome content. Doing summoning costs a decent amount of GP. So my ALK machine is doing full time job. After getting 120 summoning, I don't know where I'm gonna spend my hard earned GP. Traveling merchant and dead costs are the only things I think. Hmm, maybe bonds? Cooking stations at the beach event area is insane experience per drop. Cooking brawling gloves is a perfect place to use them here. I'm already 120 cooking, so I'm kinda wasting my time here. But if I ever gonna go for 200 million cooking experience, doing this now, future me will thank me for sure. As I don't like to trade cooking on Iron Man, so it's a really good place if you don't have 99 or 120 cooking yet. It's really FK and good experience, so don't miss it out. I've spent so many hours already, half million experience past 70 million fletching experience already. I just can't stop FKing here, requires no effort at all. And is way better than not playing at all. Sometimes I AFK on mobile, sometimes while working. I should actually get the rest of the ingredients and finish the fletching grind that way, but I just can't. I'm still feeling some kind of burnout and sometimes I don't even want to launch RuneScape, but I still do. That's definitely not healthy, but somehow I got used to it. I just want all 120 keeps so bad. Oyster number uno offers us uh, nothing. O okay, okay, let's get some experience and try again. Oyster number two gives us... Uh, wait, nothing again? Oh wow, what an unlucky opening. Maybe you got something from Oyster? Leave a comment below what you managed to get from that. Another good merchant. That touched art and some daily resets. Uh, no red map as always. Anyways, two darts to my name, gonna be fun doing some elite dungeons. Gathered a maxed amount of throws, 99, let's see what it has to offer. Oh wow, no pages this time. I thought I will get some for sure. Hmm, that's a big amount opened. Better luck next time. Another way to train during Amlod hours is using a pack to make more pack yaks. Huh, sounds weird, but it's not what you think. Doing double inventories, experience per hour jumps from 3 million to whooping 4.6 million experience per hour. That's almost like using blue charms but with more clicks per hour. Mixing Amlod hours and making pouches at pickup stick, I should get 120 in no time, like for real, like what, 6 hours and I'm done? Maybe even less. I should just man up and finish it. I think I will get it soon. Doing daily hood runs, got another 15 magical threads. I think it's better to make another grasping pouch rather than getting 100 and making rune pouch. I'm not really using mage and having two grasping pouches, it's more than enough to store warrior's runes for some basic use. Over time I will get more, but as I said, 
I'm not really in a rush to make more. And yet I'm here again. It kinda feels like I just made a video similar like this, as the only things I do is fletching, summoning and some elite dungeon runs mixed with Arch Glacier. I can't wait to get all 120k to start doing warriors content. First fish kill gives us uh, some hydric bolts, hm, nice. As for first star, dude, what just happened? I thought I still have sign of life active. Ah, uh, it was like one hit away from dying. Oh damn, my luck. Let's try it again. As for first target kill, I actually managed to PB this time. Wow, I still don't know how I managed to do it. I really need to learn PVM rotations. Hey, big boy, first kill of the day offers me. Not at what I wanted. Uh, one log drop? <laughs> What's that? Like seriously, one single log? What? May smack face again. And uh, again, nothing. Uh, I would like to get the drop before finishing the log here. Would be nice. Another fish going down. Another useless drop up then. <laughs> Not nice. Oh no, at least I killed him. This one was way harder than the first one. Six black stone hearts are really welcome here too. Can I finish the grind here? Come on, come on, let's get it. Ah, not lucky again. But the drop is really nice, not gonna lie. So, we're gonna meet again, Ambi Wambi. Today was not the day. I'm definitely getting 120 summoning soon. Just two more inventories. And another level up is here, 118 summoning achieved, I have more secondaries for crimson charms than crimson charms itself. So I think 28k charms is more than enough to get 18 million experience in summoning? Hmm, wait, I actually should calculate it, eh, I think it's enough, I just need to find and get lucky with amulet hours, and it's gonna be done for sure. So I decided to test out how much experience I can get doing a full hour here. And to my surprise, it was only 4.5 million experience per hour. I thought it's gonna be way faster than that. So doing summoning with Yaks, on Amlod Hour I get 3 million experience per hour. And doing Amlod with Pekia get me 4.6 million experience. Hmm. And doing a pickup stick gives me 4.5 million experience per hour. All three methods requires a lot of clicking. <laughs> Anyways, I should be done soon with it. And there's gonna be no more summoning clips. Thank god, right? Another Amlod Hour managed to achieve 90 million experience in summoning. Only 14 million experience to go. That's like what? 3-4 hours? I just need to do it. I keep repeating myself, but it's sometimes hard to find time to actively play. And at the same time get Amlod Hour? My kid is always on the quest to get me out of the house. Recently I bought him an electric quad bike. And oh boy, he only goes inside once it's out of charge. It's fun, we have two more months of summer, so I like to enjoy it being outside, meaning less videos to watch for you guys, but I hope you're fine with that too. I keep forgetting this crab of a beast, like there is no notification for him, sometimes someone mention it, but I usually forget that this thing even exists. I would like to get the pet, not that I really need it, but it would be nice to unlock. As for the drop, wait, nothing? Why I got nothing from it? Did I fail? I don't understand how this thing works. Oh look, another clip about me training summoning again. <laughs> Sorry about that, but you just look at that. 119 summoning achieved. I was supposed to do PVM now, but for the past 3 hours or so my internet keeps disconnecting and it's really slow. I don't understand what's going on, it used to be good for like 99% of my gaming time, it used to be slower in evenings as more people connect, but not that bad. Now I disconnect every 5 minutes or so, so yeah, it's not fun for sure. Another big batch of penguin points is here, 155 this time, a little less than the last time, but it's still gonna be a big experience drop. It definitely helps to speed up the runecrafting grind, that's for sure. So let's select runecrafting and use all the lamps I gathered. Almost 1.4 million experience drop, damn. Like last time it was what, 1.9 million? I will get to 120 in no time just doing some dailies and weeklies, nice. 
Dude, I missed the level up again. I knew that it was coming, but it's so AFK that I forgot again. Anyways, 170 fletching achieved. Nice. I thought it's gonna be hard to level up fletching as you need to gather a lot of things and make arrows from scratch as Iron Man. But thank god this place exists. It really helped me with the grind, that's for sure. Oh, nice, Nila's drop. I would rather get some water talismans, but this is good too. Yes, uh, that's nice. I'm running out of GP because of summoning. Perfect drop. Finally, another water talisman drop. Really good one, I like it. Another reaper task done. Hmm, let's see, more seeds? Uh, not what I wanted. Anyway, 28 kills so far. I will try to do more and more to go back to PVM rhythm. I started to enjoy it again. One more inventory and you just look at that. 100 million experience in summoning achieved. Nice. Just 4 million left. That's basically one hour of summoning here. Gonna continue training here till I get 120. It's close, I can already feel the cape on my back. One more skill gonna be down from the list. I like it. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm broke. I actually broke. I don't remember when the last time I had to actually ask for money. <laughs> Summoning takes a lot of money to level up. I burned through at least 200 million GP in the last 2 weeks or so. It's fine. I'm almost done. Just need a little bit more and it's done. 120 summoning on Iron Man achieved. Another skill bites the dust. It was insanely fast skill. Very click intensive though. But I made it. I was not planning at all with summoning. I just did it. As I saw an omelet hour and it slowly went up. Getting 3 to 7 million experience per hour definitely helped with the grind here. For 200 million experience I'm gonna do blue charms that's for sure. As for now I want to rest. Last 2 weeks were intense for me. As for rest I don't think there's a better place than AFKing at the beach right? Sun, ocean and some fletching grains. What can I ask more, right? Just 2 skills to 120 all cape and I'm gonna be free from this insane grind. Like I want to do some other content, but it feels like a waste of time. And after getting 120 all cape, I will definitely do a variety of content. From slayer to bossing, from various other grinds to grading my combat gear and overall improving everything. So enough of chit chat, thank you guys for watching. I see you next time, see ya.